Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in negative feedback amplifier. Here the first problem. If an amplifier has a gain of 400 and feedback ratio is 0.1, find the gain with negative feedback. Okay. So here the gain with feedback is given as AF is equal to A by 1 plus A beta. In the problem, A is given as 400, beta as 0.1. We have to substitute these two values in this formula to get the gain with feedback. So 400 divided by 1 plus 400 into 0.1 that is equal to 9.75. This is the answer. Okay. The same way we can solve the second problem. A feedback amplifier has an open loop gain of 600 and beta is equal to 0 0.01. Find the closed loop gain with feedback. Okay. So here AF is equal to A divided by 1 plus A beta. Open loop gain A is given as 600, beta is equal to 0 0.01. We have to substitute those values in this formula. Then we can get AF is equal to 85.71. So next one, an amplifier has a voltage gain of 1000 with negative feedback. The voltage gain reduces to 10. Calculate the fraction of the output that is feedback factor. So fraction of the output means feedback factor. In the given problem, they have given AV that is the voltage gain of the amplifier as 1000 and here the gain reduces to 10 with negative feedback. So here the gain with feedback is equal to 10. We are going to find out the feedback factor. Okay, for that we can use the same formula AF is equal to AV by 1 plus AV beta. Okay. So we know the values of AV and AF, we have to substitute those values here. So 10 is equal to 1000 divided by 1 plus 1000 into beta. Then we can cross multiply this value to this 10, okay. Then we can get 10 into 1 plus 1000 beta that is equal to 1000. We can multiply this 10 inside this, we can get 10 plus 10,000 beta is equal to 1000. Then we can move this 10 to this side as minus we can get the answer as 990. From this we can get beta is equal to 990 divided by 10,000. That value is 0 0.099. So we can find out any of the values of this formula if two other values known. Okay. Next problem is very very important. It's been asked frequently in university question. Negative feedback stabilizes the gain. Justify the statement. So here we are going to prove this, the negative feedback stabilizes the gain of the amplifier. So here the formula is what? AF is equal to A divided by 1 plus A beta. We are going to consider two different scenarios to prove this statement. Okay. In the first case, we can consider the gain without feedback is 1000, beta is equal to 0 0.1. Then the gain with feedback for the system is 1000 divided by 1 plus 1000 into 0 0.1 that is equal to 9.9 .9. okay if the gain without feedback is 1000 the gain with feedback is simply 9.9 .9. so in the second case we can consider a is equal to 10,000 okay so here the gain without feedback is equal to 10,000 beta value is same if you are going to use negative feedback then this value becomes Feedback AF is equal to 10,000 divided by 1 plus 10,000 into 0.1. That is equal to 9.99. So if A is equal to 10,000, AF value is 9.99. So what is the difference between these two? It is simply 0 0.09. Correct? So even though a large variation in the gain without feedback, the gain with feedback is almost same. So the negative feedback stabilizes the gain of the amplifier. So the statement is justified. Okay. The next problem. A voltage series feedback amplifier has a voltage gain with feedback as 83.33 and feedback factor as 0 0.01. Calculate the voltage gain of the amplifier without feedback. So in this problem the given data are AF is equal to that is gain with feedback is equal to 83.33, beta is equal to 0 0.01 and we are going to find out the A value. Okay, so for that we can use the same formula AF is equal to AB by 1 plus AB beta. 
we know the values of AF and beta, so we can substitute those values here. So from this 83.33 is equal to AV divided by 1 plus AV into 0 0.01. Then we have to cross multiply this value here. We can get 83.33 into 1 plus AV into 0 0.01 that is equal to AV. Then we can multiply this value inside this. We can get 83.33 plus 0 0.8333 AV is equal to AV. Okay, then we can move this AV value to this side to make that AV as a constant one. Okay, so here we can get AV minus this plus becomes minus 0.8333 AV is equal to 83.33. Then we can get 0.1667 AV is equal to this value. From this we can get the value of this AV that is equal to 83.33 divided by 0 0.1667 that value is equal to 499.98 okay that is approximately equal to 500 okay so we can obtain the gain without feedback is equal to 500 from this two values okay the last problem is here an amplifier with open loop voltage gain av is equal to 1000 plus or minus 100 is available it is required to have an amplifier whose voltage gain varies by no more than plus or minus 0.1 percentage. Find the reverse transmission factor. So in this one we are going to find the reverse transmission factor. A reverse transmission means what? Feedback. So we are going to find out feedback factor beta. So what are the given data here? AB. The voltage gain is equal to 1000 plus or minus 100. Plus or minus 100 can be written as the fractional change in the gain without feedback. That is represented as DAV by AV that is equal to out of 1000, 100 may be changed. Okay. Here AF is equal to plus or minus 0.1 percentage. So here this plus or minus 0.1 percentage can be represented as the fractional change in the gain with feedback. That is DAF by AF is equal to 0.1 divided by 100. So out of 100, 0.1 is getting changed. Okay. So from this we can find out the beta using the desensitivity gain formula, okay. Desensitivity of gain is represented as DAF by AF is equal to 1 by 1 plus AV beta into DAV by AV. So next we have to substitute the values of this DAF by AF as 0.1 by 100, DAV by AV as 100 by 1000. Okay, so next we have to move this 1 plus AV beta to this side and move this 0.1 by 100 to this side in a reciprocal manner. Then we can get 1 plus AV beta is equal to 100 by 1000 into this 100 by 0.1. Then we can get the values of this 1 plus AV beta as 100. Okay, so then we have to move this 1 to this side as a minus. So 100 minus 1, 99. AV beta is equal to 99. Then beta is equal to 99 by AV. What is the value of this AV? That is nothing but 1000. Correct? So here AV is equal to what? 1000 plus or minus 100. So this is the value of actual voltage gain. This is the fractional change. So we can substitute this AV as 1000. Then we can get the beta value as 0 0.099.